following final confirmation of rocket readiness, twin BE-4 engines and four GEM 63XL solid rocket boosters produced nearly 3 million pounds of thrust to lift ULA's Vulcan rocket away from Cape Canaveral's Space Launch Complex 41. Shortly after liftoff, the rocket begins a pitchover to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure it experiences during flight. Vulcan then reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound. With the ability to add two, four, or six solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, Vulcan can be precisely configured to take any mission to space, from low Earth orbit to Pluto and beyond. These boosters augment the rocket's total thrust at liftoff, adding approximately 460,000 pounds of thrust per SRB. With their propellant expired approximately 90 seconds into ascent, the SRBs burn out, followed by jettison. Jettison time is variable, occurring between 100 and 150 seconds after liftoff, depending on mission requirements. Vulcan's guidance system then activates to steer towards the precise target in space. First stage flight continues as the rocket crosses the Kármán line, entering space. With the majority of propellant expended as Vulcan fights against the force of gravity, the BE-4 engines shut down and the booster stage separates. With the rocket now weighing less than 10% of what it did at liftoff, dual RL-10C engines on ULA's Centaur upper stage ignite. Spacecraft are encapsulated inside a 5.4-meter diameter payload fairing which provides a protective environment during ascent. Following Centaur engine ignition, the payload fairing is jettisoned, and the mission continues to its final destination, 